Hi, this is Bird from Bird's SVGs, and in this video I'll be showing you how I put the paper lay together. This is from the Club Tropicana SVG collection. So first of all, you need to cut out all six pages, and each page contains flowers and spacers. And this is what they'll look like. You'll have a pile of each. And what I'm doing is I'm going to form my spacers first. Now I've got a tool here that's got a a straight barrel on it because some of them are tapered and I'd like my spacers to be um, cylindrical so I've picked um, a, a a straight barreled tool and then I'm wrapping my spacers around and just adding a little bit of glue holding them for a moment until they until the glue takes and then I can pop it off and do the next one so I'm going to keep working through those and then once I've made all of my spacers and I have a pile of them ready, then I'll move on to my flowers and I'll form those and then I'll put it all together at the end. Another thing I found useful about this particular tool is the coating on it is um, a kind of silicon material. So it did a help grab the, um, the card and the card wasn't slipping as I was wrapping it around. So if you have any tools like that, then that's a great thing to use. OK, so when you're wrapping your um, spacer over your tool, you actually want it to be end on. So you don't want to be doing it width ways or your spacers will be too big. And they probably wouldn't wrap around your tool either. But anything you have, a pen or, um, you know, here I'm using an embossing tool, but anything you've got that's cylindrical. As long as you can pop your ribbon down the centre of it, that's all you need it for. So I'm just finishing up my spacers there and now I can move on to my flowers and I'm using the same tool and what I'm doing is in turn I'm folding or curling all of my petals now it's quite important the um, direction you curl them in because you want them to be curled with the textured side of your paper if you're using uh, texture paper that is or if you decide to use a pattern paper for instance you want your coloured side or your textured side to be facing up with your petals curled downwards because those are the areas that are going to show when your lay is made. Of course if you've got double sided paper uh, that's one colour on one side and one colour on the other side that could look really cool because the other colour will kind of show in the shadows. So I'm just going to carry on and do the same with these. I'm not going to obviously show you um, the whole process because this did take me about possibly about an hour um, from start to finish uh, to create this lay but I was watching TV while I was doing it so I was quite more than happy it's quite a relaxing thing actually so now I've got everything ready and I'm going to start threading them now what I found to be quite useful is I left my ribbon on the spool I didn't cut it off at the other end now that helps save ribbon because you don't cut off too big a piece um, but also it stops any of your flowers being able to shoot off the other end of course if you have got a length that you'd like to use you can always just tie a knot or add a bead to one end and that'll that'll um, serve as a stopper to stop anything sliding off the other end now what I'm doing is I'm threading these on so the flowers are back to back and the spacer fits in the crevice in between so here you are, I'm putting a spacer in, then I'm putting one flower cupped towards me and then the next flower cupped away from me and then a spacer. Now I found that even though I cut the end of my ribbon on an angle to go through easier, it did start fraying after a little while. So what I'm doing here is I'm wrapping some sellotape around it, almost like the end of a shoelace. So that gave it well, it, it just firmed it right up and made it so much easier for threading. So your cups, um, your flowers, you want one cup towards you, the next one cupped away from you. So they're back to back. Then your spacer. Then you want to carry on right the way through until the end. And this is the effect that you're looking for. So it's looking nice and full. Now, another thing you could do is you could cut these out of different colours of paper. So... You have to cut this out six times, so if you cut, say, three different colours uh, twice, then you could alternate your colours down and that would give you a completely different look and it would be quite fun. 
So I've snipped off my ribbon and I'm simply adding a bow, which I will actually tie a double knot in. And because of the way the flowers are, the way that the, they're curled around, it, it actually hides it. So you can't really see once it's in there where the start and finish is. And there, it's complete. And you're ready for a beach party.